very busy man. Your time is valuable. I appreciate it greatly. Just a few questions. Uh, first of all, how are you? How are things going? We've got all sorts of deadlines coming up. We've got milestones we're hitting. You know, this place is it's really doing its, uh, doing its thing. Good segue into my next question. I'm going to cut right to the chase. How close are you? Well, um... It's no secret you've been working night and day for several years on a possible cure for this deadly virus. I know people want to know, how close are you? It was almost seven years ago I was awarded that grant by the government to work on this cure. So, it's been, it's been a long time. People are getting impatient, people are still dying. You've got to be close. Come on, you know as well as I do, Casey, that you cannot really estimate these kinds of things. I mean, sure, we can uh, think we're getting close. We can dive into the, all the ins and outs of every molecule that we're dealing with here, right? Uh, I, I, I can even potentially even have new elements. Can you put it into a time frame? Can you say you're weeks away, maybe months away? Uh, the updates that, that I send on a weekly basis, they indicate, as is true, that we are getting very close because, you know, Casey, I don't take this lightly. When you're in the lab, you've got your goggles on, you're, you're, you're in there and, 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 and things happen. I, I, we're talking about death, life and death. Well, let's talk about the recent break-ins. Some of your colleagues have had their laboratories broken into and I understand yours was as well. Do you have any idea who might be behind this? What they're after? Are they after what you've already accomplished? Has your work been compromised? You know, if one does know, it'd be smart for us not to mention names, right? Has your work been compromised, Darren? Did your lab indeed get broken into? I just think it's terrible. I, I think it's terrible that somebody or some people or some organization uh, would send people into these labs. I, I mean, we're talking about respected, professional colleagues, research doctorate, you know? So you're saying that's a rumor. Your lab was not broken into. What I'm saying is, it is a tragedy if anyone's lab has been broken into. I mean, that... that... Um, we're concerned about your work here. Obviously, yours takes precedence over anything else going on out there. And if someone has broken into your lab and compromised your work, I think people might want to know about that. People want to know how close are your lab indeed get broken into?
could have sworn I left it around here. Where is it? How could something disappear from here so easily? I mean... Many labs have been getting burglarized, which is why I keep important work samples at home. A 2.5 ounce vial of the most important chemical compounds I've been developing? Oh, it's gotta be around here somewhere. I mean, no one would break into my home to steal scientific compounds, right? Right? Open. I got your call. So what exactly is it that went missing? A small bottle? And what was in it exactly that you can't get again? A 2.5 ounce vial. Yeah, a mixture of chemical compounds I've been working on for weeks. I think Patterson Labs took it actually. But I wouldn't sign the IP rights over to them. Your former employer? Where would they even begin to look? Since GBC took over a third of the ownership interest in Patterson Labs recently, nothing's been the same. I mean, they could literally be up to anything, including raiding my house for my working sample. I had this really weird dream last night it caused me to get up and go searching for my vial, just for my peace of mind. Lo and behold, it's gone. It's gone. Well, what about those movers that were here the other day? Movers? Movers? Those three guys, they were here in a truck, they were moving, helping, Fetch stuff? What movers? When have you ever heard me talk about moving? I just, I just thought that they were here with your permission. They were friendly and they waved and I waved back. I thought you were redecorating. I don't think they were up to anything unusual. Maybe I can call the movers back and they can help.
So this is what it feels like to be one of your students. Yeah. Not your traditional lecture hall setting, is it? But it has everything I need. It's perfect. I love it. <laughs> Thank you for coming. No problem. Uh, there's going to be some new changes. The Global Benefits Council government. I know I keep hearing that. I mean, good changes, I hope, right? Good changes. Yeah, I hope so too. But I don't know, because with the Adnac virus, everything going on in the world, it's not the same place it used to be. I think I'm going to need your help to protect this work. Wait, is that what you're working on in here? You're working on a, a cure for Adnac? closer every day. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if you woke up one day and the world was exactly as you wanted it to be? A world with no hunger, no disease, no violence, no taxes. I bet you dreamt about a world like that. And I bet you've even mused with family and friends as to what it would be like to live in a world What's like this that. guy's deal? Well, you will dream no longer. Welcome to the days of the Global Benefits Council. We have implemented a blueprint. I bet he's connected with or authorized all the stealing of scientific samples that have been going on in labs. Even the one missing from my home. Christopher, my friend, he's been warning me about them. I thought he was exaggerating, but I should have listened. For the perfect world. Join me in the journey of humanity. I better get some rest. What is this place? Where are we out here? I was afraid you might be followed. What are we doing here? Why did you drive me all the way out here? What is this, the Wild West? We were supposed to meet at your office. I was pacing around, waiting for your, your office over one hour. Your staff could not give any explanation for where you were. What happened? Wanted to make sure you weren't followed. Why would anyone be following me? We're working on sensitive material. Do you know that my client's file that contains the sample cure for the virus that's ravaging cities and towns, that the vial was stolen from his home? Maybe he offered it to us voluntarily. He would not voluntarily offer something to you that he is not finished with. He knows how potent and dangerous that kind of chemical compound is in the hands of somebody who doesn't If we have it in our possession, believe me, we have top experts working on it. I'm sorry, but I do not trust your administration to be safekeeping anything. I mean, GBC, Global Benefits Council, General Barbaric Control, whatever it is, I don't even know what to call you guys anymore, tend not to be responsible when you go about everything with such corrupt means. Look, I, I, I'm sorry you've jumped to those conclusions, and uh, you can jump to that conclusion if you want. You can believe anything you want to believe, but we are responsible for taking care of this world viral epidemic. We have top scientists working on this. This virus, this is not slowing down. Have you seen what's going on in the towns and cities across this country and who knows where else? This isn't slowing down. This is not a problem you can manage with politics. What happened to you, Xavier? You used to be one of the good guys. You used to be somebody who I could trust to be responsible. And, and, and now, Look, it, I, now it's I think we're done here. I think that just part Look, of the I think that we're done here.
So let's recap where we are with the GBC Council. For those of you who have been, oh, I don't know, living under a rock or in a coma for the past three years. GBC appointed a new Prime Minister, Timothy Shasta, who implemented some interesting changes to say the least. First, our nation's capital was relocated from Washington, D.C. to none other than Las Vegas. Now, many thought this was simply a temporary move and that Mr. Shasta only did this to be ironic and express his disapproval at the previous GBC PM. No sooner than everyone thought the joke would be over did he start removing slot machines and other gaming-related installations. Further changes followed that could only be described as whimsical. Suddenly the uh, French Embassy was moved into the Paris Paris Casino and then the Italian Embassy was relocated into the Venetian. Now, no such arrangements were made for the British Embassy, which caused the French to become irritated and they sent the GBC government a golden guillotine. Mm -hmm. Yes, a golden guillotine. The PM did not wince, but accepted the gift gracefully and he now displays it in his office as a, an attraction to be shared with visitors. Some say he likes the guillotine. It uh, intimidates visitors who would be enemies of the GBC. Then where does that leave us, the people living under the GBC Council? And don't let them tell you your hands are tied because they are not. We have a lot of work to do besides complain about the GBC. We've been visited by this Adenac virus and it has left every layer of the population devastated. This is really something. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? I can see why you keep it a secret. What exactly do you do here? Well, this is the, the global headquarters for the organization. This is where we uh, collect information and we uh, process the information and we, we distribute the information all right here. This is the headquarters of the organization. This is where we do the numbers and, and this is where we implement the plan. So all of your recordings come from here? All the recordings. All the recordings come from this headquarters. In fact, we're being recorded right now. Everything's recorded. Everything in this building is recorded. And we, we release music that's recorded, and, and we release TV shows, and, and our recordings are in those recordings, if you know what I mean. You record everything from here? Yeah. This is where, this is where all the numbers are done, here. And, and, and this, this is where we're implementing our plan. Understand. Um, as, as much as I appreciate your time, I, I have to tell you I would have been much more comfortable in my own studio. But I am we're grateful for comfortable. your time. What? We're comfortable. Look, this isn't about comfort. If you wanted comfort, you could have stayed in bed this morning. This is about getting up and moving the world forward. And we're all going to feel a little discomfort. It, that's fine. That just means you're moving into a new, into a new area. I mean, you have discomfort. I mean, the whole world's feeling discomfort right now. We're about to make a major move. The, we're making major moves. The whole world's about to change it. And, and we're at the spearhead of that. With your position in media, and, and, and the whole world trusts you, you'd be perfect in the GBC. We've got the plan, and we've got the technology, and we've got the power and the motivation. We're going to make this happen. We're making a better world, Casey. You could be part of it. You could be part of the... I know you want to spread good news. I know, I know you want to spread good news. The world trusts you. 
Daisy, you, you could be helping us spread the good word. The good Tell news. me more about the GBC. Well, we're, the GBC is, is a global government that everybody voluntarily shares resources with their neighbors. Voluntarily? Uh, that's not what I've heard. Isn't the GBC government taking samples of scientific work from scientists and trying to uh, pass it off as work from their own sponsored scientists? I personally, I have not heard such incidents, but if, if, if such a thing has happened, I, I'm, I'm sure that those scientists are openly sharing their information with other scientists who are rewarded for, for their hard work. Well, that's not what this scientist says. His name is uh, Alex Mambo, and he says his lab was broken into, his work was stolen. I know this story, no. This, that scientist, he got turned down for a $3 million grant. I, I, this story, that's got a slant to it. No, that, that, this guy's got a chip on his shoulder. That's why he's talking like that. That's not the way it went down So you all. think he's bitter? Oh, oh, this guy's just making up stories. What about the talks to move the capital from DC to Las Vegas? I, you'd have to talk to the Prime Minister about that. I, I don't really know anything about that. Come on. About that. I, I don't really know anything about that. Oh, you know nothing. You could be promoted to his second in command, and you know nothing about such a major move. You heard about my promotion. You heard about my possible promotion. Oh, this is good. This is this is grand. You I'll go on the record about this. I'll go right on the record about this. This is it. This is what needs some traction. This story about my promotion. This is perfect, perfect story, Casey. That I'm, they may promote me. I'm looking what for What exactly do you do here? Well, look, if they promote me, if you get in on the, you get in now, the GBC with me, and they promote me, well, you're in. We're, we're going straight to the top. I mean, I'm almost there now. We're, look how close to the top of the pyramid we are. <laughs> I mean, you and I, the world trusts you. And, and, and my promotion, you're in. Just say yes. What's on the back of the dollar bill? That's right, a pyramid. A pyramid with with an eye at the top of it. The all-seeing eye, that's, that's who we are. We're inside the pyramid, you and I, right now. And we're the eye. We're the eye of the pyramid. I just finished watching Spot Justice about 15 minutes ago. Uh, no, not that. Patterson Labs just filed a patent infringement suit and named me as one of the defendants. Patterson Labs just filed a patent infringement suit and named me as one of the defendants. Wait a minute, is this regarding the, the working sample for the antidote? That's right. Well, <sighs> You're not even done yet. It's, it's not even finished. They want it as it is. I... They don't care that it's not done yet. I've... There is... They have no rights to that whatsoever. There is nothing. There is no agreement with them that makes it theirs. This is not acceptable. I gotta go. I, I'll be right there. I, I'll be right there. I'll be right there, okay? Stay put.
Darren, are you there? We had a meeting, remember? Okay? I've been looking all over for you. I was at your house. I asked your secretary. No one can tell me where you are. Did you hear about the signed contract that Xavier has? How did they get a signed copy of the contract? Do you remember signing that? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea what even happened that night. Said, I, I don't know what, what I did. I, I have no claim. I, I... Darren. What? What are we gonna do? Look, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what was said. I don't know what happened. Okay, I... okay, okay. How, okay, okay. how okay. do I know? Okay. I, don't, okay. I don't even know what else they know okay. from that okay. night. Okay. How, okay. What other trouble am I gonna be in? Okay. I I'm, I'm gonna be right here. We're gonna figure this out. I'm gonna stay right here with you and we're gonna talk about this until we figure it out. Please. Please, let's just figure this out. Let's talk about it. Let's figure out. We'll figure out the next step from here. We're gonna we're gonna get this sorted out. There's Man, there ain't nothing good in here, man. Watch, I look behind the seat, too. Behind the driver's seat. Pee outside, <laughs> if you say so. Wait, 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 wait. Where's my car? Oh, Come what? on. What happened? Oh, hey, they're coming. Where's my car? Do you see my car? What kind of a car is it? It's a green SUV. It was right green, here. Green, light green, dark green? Like, what? Like a sea green. A light green. Sea green? Sea green. What? Maybe it got towed. Yeah, oh, man. Maybe it got towed. Maybe towed? it got towed. Yeah. Towed? Why Where's would it get towed around here? Because this is a state property right here. Yeah, you got a parking permit? Yeah, you gotta have a permit to be out here, even to park. Here, Parking man. permit, state permits, all types of permits. I never have a permit out here. I'm out here all the time. Dude, the heat, man. Look how hot it is out here. GBC? It was an SUV. You know what? Doesn't your cousin got a, a towing company? That's right. That's right. He works this area a lot. Yeah, maybe he's got your other vehicle. That's right. Why don't you give him a call, man? That way he can help these people out. I will. Yeah, I'll call him. He's probably found seaweed green. 
We'll right. Hook, we'll hook you guys up. The only thing is, my phone's dead. Fancy car like that, you probably got a charger in there, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a newer vehicle. It should have one in there. That's right. right. Give, give him the keys. Maybe he can help. Yeah, we'll get you guys out of here in a heartbeat, man. Yeah, g give him the keys. Give him the keys. Yeah, we'll hook you guys up, man, and get you guys out of here. Charge it up. No problem. I'll find his number. I'll call him. I'll find we'll your, take care your of you guys, man. green SUV. Uh, we'll we'll take care of you guys. Don't panic, home. man. Don't panic. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, man. So what are you guys doing out here anyways? This is like the middle of nowhere. Look at, check it out. What are you guys doing out here? Nothing. It's hot. Hey. Miserable. Hey, I gotta go and start the car up in order to charge the phone. New cars, right? Yeah, man, you know the way that goes. <laughs> There's a sucker born every minute. The car's moving. What? Wait, wait, why, wait, is, wait. why is the car moving? He's backing out. What? No, don't He's moving, moving the car. He's moving Both the car. Both of you. It's all right. Guys, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. See out here, man? There's a lot of places where I can bury you guys, and they won't find you for weeks. Wait. Are... Are we GBC? 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 What no, the hell is GBC? GBC? Where I come from, GBC stands for Get Back, Cardinal. Listen, listen, we don't want any trouble. No trouble. I mean, it's just, it's just the last 24 hours. I just needed to center myself and get some praying time in. I just, I, it's been but so. I don't get it. I've been to this place like a thousand times, and nothing even remotely close to this has ever happened. It's got to be connected, right? GBC? I mean, we don't know. It may be GBC, it may not be. I'm just glad they left us safe and sound, and they only took the vehicles. I mean, we, our lives are are intact, and, and you know, no one was physically harmed. That's that's that's, you know, got I'm grateful for that. Say a quick prayer with me, won't you? I'd rather not, if that's okay. Look, the way I see it, if God really existed. Would all these problems exist in the world? I mean, take this epidemic virus, for example. Why would he let that get unleashed on the world? Why? I mean, original sin? What, so one mistake in the very beginning of humanity, supposedly, and now it's on everyone's slate forever? You mean to tell me that there's one mistake in the beginning of all humanity, and now it's on all of our slates? Like, come on, why can't it be like a utopia, a brand new slate for each person until you make your own problems and you come up with your own solutions, right? Great. <laughs> Maybe that comes from science, but, but either way, I, I, that's how I see it. That's what resonates for me. It's just, I mean, I just, I just still hold on to God regardless. I'm just. So, so, so feel free, right? If you want to pray, to your problem solver, and hopefully he or she alleviates all of this, because believe me, I would be grateful too, but I can't rely on that. Uh, I'm gonna go work out a solution to this virus using the facts.
Okay. Thanks for your time, Detective. And, um, okay. You'll let me know if you hear it. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. So what are we having? Have you guys decided? I need water. Um, I think I'm going to go with a burger and fries and um, ketchup on the burger and also, I guess, pepper jack cheese. All right. Is that it for you folks? Yeah, that's it. All Thank right. you. I, I think that's our drink menu. I drink menu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they have menus at the bar. What's going on? Hi, Stanley. Here's your drinks, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I think that's Hi, our drink folks. menu. Oh. Sorry. Stanley. I told you, you can't be in here asking well, for money. Hey, hey we know. Well, hold on a second. He wasn't. Oh, he didn't ask us for anything. It's okay. Like, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you. You know everything that's in that cash register belongs to the Heavenly Father? The clothes on your backs, the money in your wallets, and your purses, all belongs to God. You know there's wiretaps all over this place? There's a microphone right there. Everybody's listening to your conversations right now. Even God. He hears and he sees everything because of these cameras and these transmitters. How do you think that the CIA was formed? He founded the KGB, the CIA, Beijing. Why would he do that? Because he wants to know what's going on on this planet. You know that there's microphones and cameras all over this place. Here. That's how God sees and hears everything. How do you think he knows everything? I don't. I believe in science, so... Make sure you save your prayers at night. So what do you think about that? And we're back. So after hours of scouring through video footage, we have some very interesting findings to share with you about how Darren's signature may have ended up on that contract. Let's begin. First, he arrives at the establishment and is greeted by two employees who presumably he recognizes from an earlier visit. Then he takes a seat at one of the lounge chairs and turns his attention to his phone. He then pulls out a piece of paper from a backpack he brought with him. The waitress comes over to take his drink order and he seems to start discussing the contents of the contract with her. I don't know, maybe his uh, attorney wasn't available by phone and he wants to talk to someone about it, so he chats it up with her for a little bit. I, I don't know. They talk for about five minutes. And then she leaves and takes it with her. Why would he hand it to her? That makes no sense. Now, there's no audio, so we try to do some lip reading, but we had no luck with that either. But Following their actions, the waitress comes back sometime later, and at this point, folks, he's quite inebriated and not very coordinated or attentive. She hands him his credit card bill. Now, here's where it gets interesting, folks. She hands him the credit card bill on top of the contract, and it appears that as he signs on the line, he's not signing the credit card bill. He's signing the contract. A little strange? Crazy? I'd be interested in your thoughts. <sighs> Darren, Darren, Darren. What'd you get yourself into? I didn't always plan on being a uh, 
biochemist. I stumbled upon this work when I was originally working towards being an I saw my grandmother struggle with cancer for years. So I wanted to help in that field. Like and destiny. So I wanted really. to help in that field. But see, because when I stumbled upon the work, it was right when to support it was developing such a sense of urgency and importance. It all seemed the like advent of a few destiny. Like really, events in our bio see, Because when I stumbled upon the work, Adenak came out of nowhere, and now we've developed an anecdote compound. I have a question for you. So, if you could have dinner with any three human beings in the world, living or dead, who would it be? Hmm. Prime Minister Timothy. <laughs> okay. Because sometimes I have no idea what's going on in his head. <laughs> Dr. Harrison, because I need to compare our research and find out where our paths intersect in our research methods to find this cure. And you. Uh, okay. Anyway, well, guess what I have? I have something really interesting here. I have this article that I was reading. Look what it says. Darren Isaacson emerges as victor in virus cure lawsuit. We won. This is like fantastic. And there's this adorable testimonial about this little boy who got the cure at the 11th hour and you're his personal hero and he can't wait to meet you. It's, it's just so precious. It's just, just the most adorable story. It's, it's the best. How does it feel to be the hero of the hour? I don't know what you're talking about. There's a lot more work to do. I know there's more work to be done, blah, blah, blah. We can't rest on our laurels. I get it. But, but still, sometimes you just got to like let loose and celebrate a little bit. There's a lot more work to be done here. Yeah, I know.
Hey, Darren. It's Elena. How are you doing? Well, I was thinking that you would pick up. I thought you might be home around this time. Um, in any case, I was just calling to give you some great news. They found the guys that have been breaking into the homes of scientists to steal work product for GBC. It's unbelievable. I was just watching it on the news, and, you know, I've been hearing about it early in the day, but I wasn't sure I had to, you know, hear more about it to confirm. In any case, it just happened in the most unbelievable way. I will fill you up on it more if you give me a call soon. Please give me a call soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. solve the problem like, like this stuff does. So GBC and, and Xavier can keep that missing vial for all I'm concerned. But what, what would so I... So I ordered some yellowfin tuna and some other fish from the same area where Langley went diving in Hawaii to study them, their chemical levels, right? Now, the mercury and, and several of the other chemical levels, nothing out of the ordinary, but I ran more tests. And these tests, they exhibited the presence of a never previously discovered element. Uh, a, a scientist. Generally, we know how a chemical is expected to behave when compounded, right? And something was missing? More like something was present that I had never seen before. Like uh, an element acting like copper, but it's not copper. Where would something like that come from? After a recent volcano some months back, I remember a colleague of mine. He had commented that uh, during his research of the algae, some algae in the area, you know, he had run into some very strange chemical reactions. And, and, and well, his uh, account, the way he described it, it was just like my experiments. So I separated the new chemical compound. And this stuff is its phenomenal. So uh, what are the implications of this? So the, the vial, the missing vial, the, the stolen vial, it, they can have it. It's crap. It doesn't get to the bottom of the problem like this stuff does. The stuff we have now is the real deal. What's crazy is, my chemical compound I was working on, it, it was built to do the same thing. Uh, my chemical compound, mine, was meant to counteract the virus, just like this chemical compound, except this does it precisely. And, and it even has other uh, benefits, like on the human blood vessel system and, 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 and the rest of the human body. So it's almost like we had to lose to win. We had to go through everything we did with losing the vial, with having to find out who the former patients were and finding out about their diving experiments and finding out about the fish. All of that had to happen in order for us to have this snowball and domino effect of getting to this real solution. This new chemical compound is, it's a miracle. It, it's going to change everything for humanity. <laughs> Darren Isaacson's office. This is Rachel. How can I help you? I am so sorry. He's not available at the moment.
try that try back later, okay? Hello, they're in Isaacson's office. This is Rachel. How can I help you? I, I am. I'm writing this down. Hi, can I help you? Mr. Isaacson? Are you okay? Mr. Isaacson, are you okay? Yeah. I, you don't look so good. I don't think so. Yeah, just um, hold my calls today. Just a second. What happened? Micro. My microdose itself. Well, you're not a doctor. You're not supposed to be doing that. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try another full dosage. No calls. Okay. Well, let me know if you need anything. calling and calling and, and I've not been able to get a hold of you. I told my secretary to hold on my calls so I could nap. Why, why are you in a wheelchair, Darren? Much more comfortable than my other chair to sleep in and way more fun. More fun? You'll forgive me if I'm a little woozy. I uh, administered a little bit of anesthesia for my upcoming dosage. A dosage of, of the antidote? You're administering the antidote upon yourself? Darren, you don't have the virus. You, you, you're not sick. Right. Of the anecdote, Elena. I have to know how it plays out. I have to be able to vouch for my anecdote before I unleash it on the world, right? Darren, I think you should try the drug on someone who actually has the virus, on a sample of a group that actually has the virus. I don't think you should test it on yourself. I mean, what happens if- I might. <laughs> I might get sick, but that's a risk I'm willing to take because even if a couple of the side effects kick in. There's plenty more benefits to outweigh that. Darren, how do you know what the effect of that thing will be on you? How do you know? You don't really know. And I don't think I'll get sick, Elena. This is my life's work we're talking about. Darren, I don't know about that. I think this is a bad idea. Elena, this is happening with or without you. So you can stay or you can go.
So, is it true that you first tried to cure on yourself first? I did, and uh, here I am, <laughs> so. Wow, when I first heard that, I was scared for you. I even started to pray for you. I can attest now, this stuff, Mark, it, it's, it's amazing. It's nothing like any other chemical I, I have ever worked with before, and you? You're gonna be free of this virus in no time, Mark, and feeling better than ever. Man, I cannot wait. And I agree. There's something to knowing that you personally tried it yourself first before putting it out there for everyone else to try it. Exactly, you get it. <laughs> Mark, so many of the people with this virus, they've tried everything, they've experienced every single side effect and so I guess I just wanted to test it on myself first in part to gain the trust of these patients if I'm too scared to take it why should they you know so. you mentioned praying earlier that's right I did why Prayer works. How's it working out for you? You healed, ain't you? All my research, <laughs> my whole life's work, it's based on cause and reaction, cause and effect. And uh, I, I was very confident. I want you to know that I also pray for the Lord to give you guidance and understanding that will help you with your research. Looks like she's about to leave. Got it.
received transcripts from the interrogation of one of the GBC operatives that was allegedly breaking into labs and scientist homes in search of precious samples. Did you hear about, see, associate with, receive advice concerning, or happen upon any activities or interactions related to any incidences of stolen scientific samples? In the are past? you aware of the location of scientists' homes that are working on a cure to the adnet virus? Did you ever engage in ventures to enter those homes during the day? Or what do you think should be done to any operatives who did trespass upon or burglarize labs or homes in search of scientific samples? Products of years of those scientists' work disrespectfully illegally and criminally. Are you a special missions operator for the Global Benefits Council, otherwise known as GBC? I know of their operations, and I was interested in finding out more at some point. His answer was, I know of their operations, and I was interested in finding out more And they at were some most point. likely paid to commit those crimes. And what about those who were funding these operations? What should be in store for them? Let me hear your thoughts. These are trying times. We all need to come together to understand and resolve many of these issues.
Krista? Hi, how have you been? I'm doing well. I'm surprised to hear from you. I thought that maybe you might forget about me, given that your dating pool hasn't expanded beyond those who don't find you contagious. <laughs> no, I didn't forget about you. You made an indelible impression. Thank you. So did you. I still remember actually when I looked over across from me in the clinic bed and noticed that you were there reading and managing a smile in spite of all that was going on. Anyway, what are you doing next weekend? Can we make plans? Maybe. Pro probably. <laughs> Let me get back to you by the end of the day, okay? I'm glad you said the end of the day, not the end of the month or the year. The end of the decade was at the tip of my tongue, but I just went with the day. <laughs> glad you did. So, since we met while we were waiting for that x-ray machine at the hospital, I thought that we should stick with that theme of our altered perspective for our date and go see a movie in 3D. Sound good? That does sound like fun. Learning about the Prime Minister's affair with my wife is, that's just something I didn't see coming. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. I, I didn't see that coming either. You probably think I deserve that for the way I handled the antidote situation. No, no, not Put at all. Put me in that position I'm... just so that he could make a move on Janice. I'll get two of them. I can't. Ah, those two. I I'm in shock about it. I'm no, really sorry. I gotta about hand it. it to you and Isaacson. I mean, within two months of the end of the antidote being released, the virus is completely but, eradicated. But you know, at the end of the day, the missing vial turned out to be, you know, some sort of a blessing. You know, God works in mysterious ways. I cannot take credit for that. I couldn't believe it myself. I mean, it's just. You know, prayer works in mysterious ways, I'll tell you. I'm completely surprised at, at the progress that things have made. You know, we thank God for it. You know, can you believe that we found a previously undiscovered chemical element in the volcanoes of Hawaii? I mean, who could have seen that coming? That was, it was a complete miracle. Prayer works miracles, I tell you. I'm happy for you and your client. You know, we thank God. So, what do you say you and I check out the wine collection and pick an excellent bottle? I'll just have water, thank you. Fine. It just means more for me. 